Guitar legend Sam Wild here. Really fun lesson today. We're looking at Disney's Lion King Akuna Matata. All right, this is such a fun song to play. It is a little difficult in terms of uh, having so many chords, uh, but the rhythm is pretty much the same throughout the whole song, which is the good news. Okay, but you are going to have to spend some time getting used to the timing because you have to follow the vocals. All right. So to begin with, for the first time, we're going to have Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata Ain't no passing free So let's start with the first few chords here. We got F Okay, now there's a few ways you can play F As you can see, I've got kind of a full bar chord here with the thumb and the bass uh, But you can move the third finger down and you can play this version Which is a little bit easier Okay, and it sounds really nice as well All right Next we have C. So for C major you just move up, but you keep the first finger there. So you see the diagram here. Pause the video if you need to practice these chords. Okay, then we go back to F again. Okay. Now I like to, uh, when it's just sort of a paused chord and we're just following the vocals, you can add just to fill the space. So you just slowly build up. Okay, it just fills that space. And we just wait for the next word. So it goes, Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. So you come in on the right word. Akuna Matata. Ain't no pass in phrase. Okay, so you have to be aware of which word you come in, and then you can fill the space with some tremolo picking, right? Now, when we get to this chord here, so after F we have D7 with F sharp in the bass. Okay, you can just play D with F sharp in the bass. That still works, but um, for this part of the song, it sounds nice to have the D7. Okay, so bear in mind we've gone from F to D7. So practice changing between F and D7, all right? So we have, ain't no passing crazy. Okay, now here you can just play G. But if you listen carefully to the song, there's some movement. We actually get this sort of G, A minus seven, and then back to G again. Okay, so I like to keep the pinky where it is. Okay, I start with the third finger off. I know it looks like it's on, but just so we get that movement. Just keep it off to begin with, right? So we play down, down, A minus seven with the top note. Then back to G, but this time third finger's down. Okay, so G, A minus seven, G. All right, and I tend to do down, 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 up, right? You see that? Down, 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 up, right? Okay, now we're going to have to include some kind of rhythm here with the right hand um, that we can apply to most of the song. All right, we're going to play down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So you keep this wrist moving to the pulse, but you only hit the strings on down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. You see that? I keep it moving, but I'm only hitting when I need to. Now, if you want to, you can add one more up on the end. I do that most of the time. You don't have to, but it does kind of fill some of the space sometimes, especially if you're staying on one chord for a little bit longer, all right? So let's have a look at the chords here. So we got, it means no for the rest of the day. So we had A minor, down, down, up, up, down, F. And then we have D with F sharp in the bass. So it's not D7 like before, it's just normal D. And we do that twice. 
It's a problem free on C Philosophy on G Akuna Matata Okay, so we stay on C for two bars Then on G, one, two, three, four, five We're gonna do a little hit there on the second bar Akuna Matata all right, then we have C for two bars just to fill the space there. So all together, the second part of this intro. It means no worries for the rest of your day. It's a problem free philosophy. Akuna Matata. Then we do C twice. Then we have this instrumental. When he was a young one. Okay, then we get into that other part. So the instrumental part, obviously you don't have to play this bit if you don't want to, um, but the chords are B flat. Okay, some of you are gonna struggle with B flat. I know I do. Okay, you can just play the F major shape up here on fret six. Can you hear that's the same? Um, some of you might just wanna play like a power chord. It doesn't sound as big, but um, a little bit easier okay but this is the chord I play all right now don't worry you don't have to play B flat that much it's just this middle part of the song it comes in okay and to make it easier just shorten the rhythm you just do down down up up down right so we have B flat F C F let me do it again B flat then C, G, C, C. Okay, so that last part, C, G, C. Instead of going to this G shape, I just move the top part up. Okay, and you also kind of have to start the rhythm again. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. All right, when you've got to change chords quickly, you can just do half the rhythm. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. You're kind of just doing the first half of the rhythm. Okay, so again, the second half of this goes. Then we have another bar of C there, just one strum. Okay. All right, now the timing for this next part is very tricky. Okay, this is where Timon and Pumba go a little bit crazy, and it's quite funny. Um, but you have to follow the words, so it goes Why, when he was a young what heart Okay, so on the words He, young, hog And again on the C chord You can do some quick tremolo picking there When I was a young what heart Same thing He found his aroma like a certain appeal Okay, this bit speeds up and again, you have to wait for the, the vocals. He found, on the word found, we have this E flat chord. Okay, quite a tricky chord. You can just play the top of it if you want to. Some of you might want to add the pinky. You have to really bring the, the wrist up, elbow into your side to really try and get this chord. But we're gonna have E flat, F, and then we're gonna have C to G. And it's quite fast, E flat, F, C, G, okay. He found his aroma like a certain appeal. He can clear the savannah after every meal. So I just play down, 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 down. I just play some faster down. Now this is a tricky chord, so you just have to get it in position before you play it. Okay, we do have time because we have. Then you get in position. Very nice, thanks. He found his aroma like... So you have some time to get there, right? Then we slow down. I'm a sensitive soul. Though I seem thick skin. So we've gone from dum bum 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 to... Bum, bum. So just bear that in mind. That can really throw you off when you're playing along to the song. He found his aroma like a certain appeal. He can clear as a man after every meal. I'm a sensitive soul. Two strum per chord. 
So we have B flat twice, F twice, then C. And then E flat, and in hope that my friends never stood down away. So again, you have to play E flat, just do it once, doesn't matter if it's not perfect. F, then a big and oh the shame we have C had the change of my name oh what's in a name then I got down harder B flat how did it feel every time that I pumba not in front of the kid oh sorry Hakuna Matata okay so this big part the timing's really difficult so again follow the words so we have C here so this calls on the word shame so and oh the shame and then on the word name, had to change my name. Oh, what's in a name? And I got down hearted. So kind of halfway through the word hearted is there. Hearted. Every time that I cut it off, come burn on in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. And then we have this high shape here, if you want to. So this whole little middle section here is very based on timing. So let's just try and do it together again. Alright, so from the when he was a young warthog, we'll go from there. Ready up for one, two, three, four. When he was a young warthog, when I was a young warthog. Very nice, thanks. He found his aroma like a certain appeal. He could clear a savannah after every meal. I'm a sensitive soul, though I see thick skin. And it hurt, but my friends never stood. And all the shame had the change in my name, and I got downhearted every time that I pump, but not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. Hakuna Matata. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. All right, we've got the hard part out of the way. The rest of the song is, is fairly straightforward. Okay, so now we come into a chorus, right? Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Okay, right, so we have F twice, then we have C twice, then we have F. Now you can do D7 here if you want, or just D major. Then we have that G movement. Same as we did for the intro. It means no worries. A minor, F, D for two. Then we have C. Just like we did before. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, we're about to go into a, a long instrumental part. So this is kind of if you remember in the film, this is where Simba kind of grows up and tries the food. Um, but it's quite nice to play along to this part. Sometimes I just skip these little interlude parts because it's just part of the film, right? Um, but it's nice to play along. So we start with C. We go to E minor, which is fingers two and three. So make sure you got this shape. Then we have our F again. Okay, so we, we do that once. And then we're gonna have. Do the progression I just showed you. C, E minor, F, G, we'll do it again. Now this part we have rhythm to. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's getting a little hard to remember everything now. This is why you're going to have a nice guide for the play along at the, at the end here. So again, just to clarify, we had C to E minor to F to G, right? Then we have C to F. Then 
progress again. C minor, F, G. We do it again. Okay, now we get to this just rhythm. So just rest your hands flat on the strings. Okay, you just kind of you can keep the same rhythm as we had before if you want to keep it simple. Just some sort of rhythm. Okay, then we have. Right. I think that's when he's trying the food for the first time, right? So we have two bars of rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so for these notes, a little bit tricky because the last two are pushed, but we have E here, second fret on the D string, second finger, then third finger on the A string, third fret. You can have vibrato if you want. And then we push into the note G, third fret on the E string. And then open E. So it goes. Back into C minor, F, G. So we just practice this rhythm and note part. So it goes one, four, one, two, three, four. Back into C minor. So that's the first half of this instrumental part, okay? A little tricky to remember, but once you get it, it's, it's, it's not too hard to play. All right, the second half of this instrumental is a bit more musical and it builds up. So this is the part where the singing in the background is sort of like a... Okay, then this is when Simba's all grown up, right? So, this part we're gonna have C to F. Then we have G, but don't have the G in the bass, take that finger off, we want B in the bass. Okay, then we have F, C with G in the bass. Okay, so it's a weird number of bars. We sort of miss a bar. We come straight out of that F chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. It means no worry. So for this chord, C with G in the bass. Instead of playing C major, move the third finger up so G's in the bass. And you can add the pinky as well. So you still have the C chord in there, but G's in the bass. Then I just play this G shape just to save moving much from that C with G in the bass chord, right? So again, this instrumental part goes. It means no worry for the rest of your days. Then we have the chorus. It's a problem free outro it just goes round and round and round this chord progression right okay so just to clarify there we had normal chorus but sort of like the second half of it for the rest of your days right and then we had it's a problem free philosophy we keep going though we don't do the we don't do the stop on this last chorus here and then we just go into this kind of extended little instrumental part here where it's A minor. Then we have C with E in the bass. It's just the E string. F. So we have to fit those in. So I just play down, 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 down. Just because they're faster, right? Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. E major. Okay. Now, it really is sort of like a E major with G sharp in the bass, so we get this movement. Which would sound better, but on guitar it's really hard to get that 
G sharp in the bass, unless you play it with it like this. Oh, it's horrible. So just play E major, it's fine, all right. Um, again, you have to time this right, so we have G, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right, then we stay on G the second time, right? Now you can go a little bit quiet when we get to this C, E minor, F, G part, right? Oh, boom, boom. just fades out just improvising vocals over the top Whew. all right that is everything guys uh, I know there's a lot to take in there when you start playing along to with me the play along is coming up you will find it much easier to understand because you can just keep going over each section all right racing through this lesson it's a little tricky but it gives you a strong idea of what you're doing all right if you found this lesson useful please give it a like make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell icon all right good luck with the play along I will see you in the next lesson